Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly singles reading for November 2019. Today we're going to ask the Tarot and the Universe what is coming for you. And before we start, I'd like to thank everyone who have um, subscribed to my channel. Those of you who have liked, shared and commented. Um, those of you who booked a reading with me, donated to my channel. Um, yes, thank you so much for your support. And also, for uh, if you're thinking of having a private reading with me, please do check my about page. You'll get my Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, personal website. Everything you need is there. And once I hear from you, I'll get back to you. We can get your reading done for you as soon as possible. So Virgo, let's see what the universe has for you, okay? For November. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Virgo singles in the first week of November. Okay. We've got three of wands. What's coming in the second week for Virgo singles in November? Page of Wands. Okay, what's coming in the third week for Virgo singles? Okay, we've got the Tower. What's coming in the fourth week? Okay right you got eight of swords okay so now that is interesting let's give it a moment virgo Okay, let's see. This is based on Ten of Swords, okay? So I feel something is ending here, which is ushering you to something else in terms of, you know, but I also feel for some of you, having this as your base, you have gone through some painful stuff in the past and you are getting out of it. That's how I feel, you know? You are getting out of some something that has been painful for you for quite a while. That is how I'm connecting it here. Okay? Yes. I feel like you are getting some type of healing. But I feel I want to um, clarify one of these cards. And... Um, I feel I want to do it before I start the reading. Please clarify the page of wands. Okay. There you go. Yes. There you go. Isn't that interesting? You see, like I said, I feel you guys are going through some healing, coming out of something. Is that what, is that not what I said? Yes. You are coming out of a painful situation and you are letting it go. Once I connect it here and you are thinking and looking at things differently. But this is healing, like I said. So, connecting that here. Of course, the page of one always have a message for you. So, uh, that is why I wanted to, you know, clarify. Because we've got the tower in the, in the, in the third week. And we've got the eight of swords in the fourth week. Okay? And this is why I felt we had to clarify him. And that's why I was a bit uh, slow. Because I wanted to be sure whether it's this or that one. But now here. Okay, so in your first week, I feel this is, um, for most of you, I feel this is like a long distance relationship. 
that you are considering. It's something that you've been thinking about for quite a while. And in the first week of November, you will think about it a lot. You, I mean, it will be on your mind constantly. Should I go? Should I not go? What should I do? Am I going? Am I traveling? Am I, you know, yes, that is how you are going to be feeling. Yes. But I feel you'll be more drawn to um, going. That's how I feel. You'll be more drawn to going. You'll be thinking about it. It's something you've you've thought about. So for, for people here, I feel it's a more long distance relationship. Yes. That's what's going to be on your mind. And for you, it's, it's a little bit of a challenge for you because you are you are getting you are finding healing you know like this person that you've got in mind or you you are speaking to they have brought you some type of healing you, you are coming slowly out of something painful that is how i'm seeing here okay so in the second week the page of wants is bringing you good news and she's telling you hey what are you doing man things are getting better okay things are getting better because the clarification is a wheel of fortune and six of cups and of course this six of cups is a form of healing in itself here Someone has brought healing for you, to you, and the will is changing in your favor. And that's the, the message the page of wants has got to tell you. It's time to move on. Okay? Don't be stuck in the past. And I also feel for some of you, um, you may, you, you want to... This is someone you have a connection with. Maybe you lost contact with them, but I feel you want to get in contact with them for some of you, or your ex might try and get in touch with you. That's the message the page has for you. But whatever you do, I feel things are changing for the better. Okay? Yes, certainly. Certainly you are having healing. This is healing. That's the, the message the page of um, wands have got for you. And in a third week, this is more like an enlightenment. Once you've got this message that you've you realized, oh, wow, this is what is happening. This is like, so, okay, what do I do next? How do I go about this? How is things going to be, you know? I feel this is you being enlightened and you coming to um, a realization that I want to give this a try. I want to, I want to move forward with this thing. <laughs> That's how I continue to feel. I don't feel this is negative. I feel this is more on enlightenment. You know, there's a spark within yourself that you, you feel, you feel the urge, you feel the desire to, um, to take you know this step yes the step of you know being with this person and in the fourth we've got the eight of swords but of course i feel this is more to do with you after you've had your tower moment when you realize that this is what you actually want here I feel you are more like, how am I going to express myself to this person? How am I going to tell him or her how I feel? So this is you being trapped in your own thoughts. That is how I'm seeing it. Okay. But as we see here, with this wheel of fortune here, It's all going to be good, okay? It's all going to be good. Once you've, you've figured out how you're going to express yourself, I feel you are good to go, okay? You are good to go. So I, I don't feel these, these are um, 
I don't feel this is bad. You know, I don't feel this is bad because let's face it, Virgo, you always make things stressful for yourselves. That is how I see it. You know, because you, you overanalyze, you overthink, you're always thinking, should I do it this way? This, you know, you're always looking at the details and I feel the details are going to make you a bit stressed and tensed here. But I, apart from that, I don't feel like this pressure is coming from anyone, but apart from your own energy. Okay. So, um, I, I do wish you all the best. Um, and yes, yes, certainly healing is coming and I feel like, yes, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay. So Virgo, I wish you all the best with the steps that you're taking. And also please, by all means, if you've not seen the, um, general reading, please do watch it. And I have pick, I have uh, uploaded pick a card reading on my other channel uh, about pregnancy and about um, relationships. And um, yes, you can watch it at any time. And I want to leave the reading here. I wish you all the best. I see you next month or you see me next month.